Ben Lewis, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are, another Halloween podcast, season number two. If you missed any of the other episodes, they're available here on the channel in the playlist for season two as well as season one. Now, this time around, we're going to be talking about retro gaming, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be talking about old school gaming. Let me take you back to 1977, ladies and gentlemen, when the Atari uh, came out, the 2600 came out, the Atari. Uh, I was, in 77, I was only four years old. I was born in 1973. So I was, I was only four years old. So I didn't get a chance to play the Atari probably till I was like maybe, I don't know, nine or ten. So Atari be out a couple of years. I think they had the 7800 out uh, after that. But I love playing the Atari. Some of the games on the Atari are not what they are, to, you know, not what games are today. They're not, you know, it's like uh, high tech, high bands, uh, high end graphics and, you know, all the technology that we have today in this day and age and have had for the past uh, 20 years or so. But the Atari has some great games. Uh, you know, the games that we come to know and love. Uh, the classics, you know, the Atari had Frogger, the Atari had uh, Pac-Man, uh, the, the Atari had, you know, all kinds of games. I mean, I'd be here all day naming all these games that the Atari had. Uh, but the, as, as the Atari came and the Nintendo, the regular NES came, that's where I really enjoyed everything. I mean, the the NES has some great games. Uncle Fester's Quest, The Addams Family. I love that game. That game is my absolute favorite. F13, Friday the 13th, the game. Some people hate that game for, uh, for the NES. I loved it. I beat it over 70 times. I beat Jason, beat the game over 70 times. Loved that game so much. Uh, they had... I mean, there's all kinds of games on there. Uh, Kung Fu, uh, uh, Nin uh, Ninja Gaiden, uh, those Mario's, the Super Mario's, Super Mario 1, Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3. And I love Super Mario 2. A lot of people hate that game, but I love Super Mario 2. I think it's an absolute good game. Uh, I don't know what they were going with at that, but it was a different take and a, and a, and a different twist. On the Mario games. And Mario 3 of course was absolutely amazing. And uh, now. Uh, I really can't uh, figure out the controls. For that game anymore. <laughs> it's just been so long. You know. But uh, I enjoy playing the retro games. I, I think that the retro games are amazing. Uh, I think that. Uh, you know. Uh, a lot of them have aged well. Uh, but some of them. You know. A lot of them haven't uh, aged well. Uh. You know, a lot of people, a lot of the newer generations today don't know what it's like for those of us who grew up with the regular NES, uh, grew up with the uh, uh, with the Ataris, with the um, ColecoVisions, the Segas, the uh, the Sega Genesis, of course, Doctor Sega CDs, the Sega Saturns, uh, the Nintendo 64s, the uh, Super Nintendos. None of us really actually, you know, it's hard to explain to someone what they were about. It's like, you know, they're 8 bits uh, and, and, and then they're 16 bits. They're not what we have today. They're, they're not, uh, they're not as, like I said, up to date, high tech, you know, and they're also like, it's the, uh, it's the vintage, it's the nostalgic, it's the, old school, if you will, of the retro gaming. And like I said, those are some of my favorites. Uh, I had a lot of favorites uh, in, in NES games. Like I said, we'd be here forever discussing that. A lot of favorite uh, games with Atari growing up as well. I never played the um, ColecoVision. I heard a lot of people talk about the ColecoVision. I, I've, I, I've never played the ColecoVision. Uh, when it comes to Sega uh, CD, uh, one of my personal favorite games on Sega CD, I got on the PS4. Uh, but I'm still trying to figure out the controls for it. I'd love to live stream it. I'd love to uh, maybe episodic it or something. But uh, I just haven't got around to doing that because I really don't understand the controls of it. And that is the game with the late, great Corey Haim double switch. 
Uh, it's got uh, Artie Emery in it, uh, the guy that played uh, Sergeant uh, Hartman. Uh, he's in it. Uh, Debbie Harry, uh, Blondie, uh, she's in it. Uh, uh, those are probably the three uh, well-known uh, actors uh, that are that play in that game. But I, I love Double Switch. I beat it uh, so many times on the Sega CD. I love it. Corpse Killer. I love playing Corpse Killer on the uh, Sega CD. Prize Fighter. Oh man, Prize Fighter was absolutely an amazing game for the Sega CD. But we know now that the technology keeps evolving, it keeps going, it keeps evolving, and it just keeps going and going and going and going. But my question is when? When do they stop making consoles and allow you to upgrade the consoles on your own? Like if there's a new technology that comes out that is different than what is inside the gaming consoles. Do they let you go out and buy a new RAM or let you buy uh, a new uh, new uh, motherboards or new, you know, whatever else, you know, there is you, that you need to buy to upgrade your consoles instead of sitting there adapting and bringing out new consoles every year or every seven, eight years or whatever, you know. Usually it's every seven years for a new console to come out. But I, I just don't understand that, you know what I mean? And to be honest with you, there's a lot of games out there that I love on the PS4. Uh, a lot of games I love on the PS3. But when it comes to that uh, old school nostalgic, that old school vintage, I'm all for that. I love old school gaming. If I get a chance to play old school gaming... I'm there. I'm playing the old school game because it's the best. Let me know in the comments, ladies and gentlemen. What was your favorite system? Old school system, if you played any. What was your favorite games for that old school system? I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching. This has been another Hollywood podcast. This has been the Wolfman Lewis. I am out.